I think you've got to be remain really light on your feet in terms, you know, don't get linked into a big rent on a, uh, you know, big office uh, on a long period because, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen. You know, we were very fortunate. Um, <coughs> Ar Arab actually helped us out in the early days. We basically camped in their offices and they kept moving us around within their offices and, and they really um, allowed the flexibility to grow from four up to whatever it was, or two up to whatever it was. By the time we left Arab, it was probably over 150 people. Um, and, you know, so it was very flexible. And I think that flexibility was very good. And they also helped us with the network. We were using their network and their storage. So if you can, I mean, I would, my thing is rather than being in a, you know, in a, in a sort of office, is to actually go and work in an engineering office and get them to sort of help support you um, would be my advice. And that would be, and, you know, and don't spend more than you earn. Gosh, um, I think the company at the moment, um, you know, a new way of, <clears throat> new way of working in terms of architecture um, with employee ownership. Um, you know, sort of, you know, bringing together, you know, a fantastic number of people. You know, before 2008, we had a 1% churn factor in the staff, you know, that was, which is pretty amazing. <clears throat> and I think that's, that sort of legacy is, is that. And I think the, um, I think the work we're doing on the foundation is also, you know, it's beyond the day job. Um, it's very good. Um, and some of the buildings, I think.